Okay, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Japan. This is a little series that I do where I show you guys and introduce you guys and talk about some stuff that'll make you go... What the fuck, Japan? Now today's What the Fuck Japan is yet again another anime series because we can't get enough of that good old shit from Japan, you know what I'm saying? Now look, everyone has their preferences as to whether they like a particular series or whether the concept of a series really fits their needs or fits their interests. There are some anime series that people absolutely love while there are some other anime series that aren't so much popular in the mainstream sense. And look, I'm usually quite open to different kinds of anime series. Sure, I understand that some things may not be for me, and other things are for other people. But there is one particular series that I'd like to talk about today, which I believe is one of the cringiest anime series ever made. And that is a little series called Makura no Danshi. If I were to explain this 12 episode, 5 minute short series in one word, it would be cringe fest. Makura no Danshi, or Pillow Boys as it's called in English, is a reverse harem slice of life anime where the concept is revolved around you getting to sleep and interact with bishonens, or really feminine, really nice looking boys, or as I like to call them, boys with pussies. It's for those girls who are so lonely to the point where they have to try and listen in and interact with a 2D character on screen. What? Now you might be asking, Joey, what kind of boys are there in this anime? Like, is it just your regular bishonens, or like, is there everything to cater for different needs? Well, I'm glad that you probably didn't ask. For each of the 12 episodes, there is a different boy that you can interact with, and I'm guessing they did that so that they could cater to all sorts of different hobbies or like all sorts of different interests that girls find in different boys. They got every type of boy from your typical high school bishy and your local businessman who's a little bit rough around the edges to a slightly royal pompous dickhead and even a tiny little five-year-old that you... Hold what? What you need is a fucking kick in the face. Great, now I'm lonely and get to feel like a pedophile. Good work, Japan! Seriously though, this anime is kind of cringy because it kind of reminded me of Dora the Explorer. Because there'd be literally one character talking on the screen and they would ask you a question to the screen, which is obviously directed at whoever's watching, us, the audience. But they leave pauses within that character so that you have enough time to respond back to the dude. Oh my god! Uh, I had a terrible day today, seriously. Listen, like, I, you know, my boss is just being absolutely terrible to me, and, and I don't know what to do. And, and one of the co workers is just such a fucking bitch, and I seriously don't know what. Motherfucker, stop interrupting me. This is literally Dora the Explorer, but for super lonely girls. Why, Japan? I think the most awkward thing about this series, though, is when you're really not into the anime, like I was. Like, I didn't proactively go and watch this entire series. Yes, I did go watch this entire series for first-hand research purposes. I sacrifice myself for you guys sometimes. Well, like, when you're watching the series and you're not, like, that into it to the point where you can't be fucked to, like, respond back to the characters, it's super awkward because it's literally five minutes episodes of just this character talking to himself on screen. It's like they took an anime series, but they cut out every other character's dialogue from the series and just only included that one character. It's it's kind of off-putting, to be honest. Now look, don't get me wrong, I completely understand that this series is not for everybody. You know, it's obviously not for people like me. It's obviously not for people who are probably boys who are interested in girls, you know. This is for solely for girls, it's a reverse harem, so it's solely for girls, and it's solely for the girls who are feeling a little bit lonely. Now, if you're one of those girls who feel so lonely that they have to watch this anime to make themselves feel, you know, a little bit better during the day, I'm, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing for you guys, but if you're so lonely to the point where you have to watch this cringe-ass anime, like Dora the Explorer for high school girls kind of anime, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe get a cat? or 50. One of the things that really makes this the cringiest anime for me is just the fact that it's so lonely. Like, um, it's really funny because 
it's made to kind of cure the loneliness for girls who are just trying to look for some comfort, but it doesn't really work when the series itself is really lonely. So I award Makura no Danshi not only the award for the cringiest anime in the world, but also the loneliest anime in the world. But seriously, what the fuck, Japan? Guys, let me know in the comments below. Have you seen Makura no Danshi? Do you want to see Makura no Danshi? And if you can think of an even cringier or even lonelier anime series than Makura no Danshi, then I want you guys to let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments below. Also, let me know in the comments below what other what the fuck Japan things that I can react, discuss, and talk to about in the next episode. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give us always a like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video, whatever it may. Keep watching anime. Ciao!